As Dr. David Silberklang and Professor Dan Michman have stated, the main principles of Nazi ideology were interlinked with an extremely hostile and negative perception of the Jews. In the following video, Professor Otto Dov Kulka, one of the leading researchers on Nazi anti-Semitism, will present a short paper on the centrality of anti-Semitism in Nazi ideology and its unique redemptive nature. For your convenience, a link to the printed version of the paper appears below. Uh, many scholarly works written on National Socialism have reached a conclusion that, uh, that anti-Semitism played a vital role in the ideology and policy of Nazi Germany. Of all the ideological and political ingredients that went into the making of Hitler's outlook, anti-Semitism in its broadest sense appears to be not only the one consistent and immutable element, it, it also bridges such seemingly contradictory leanings as anti-Marxism and anti-capitalism, the struggle against democracy and modernism, and a basic anti-Christian disposition. The same is true of the conceptual bearing uh, and functional significance of these apparent contradictions in foreign policy and war aims of Nazi Germany. Anti-Bolshevism, conceived as determining the inevitable struggle against the Soviet Union, anti-democracy as a basic motive for the war against the Western powers, France, Britain, and the United States. Yet Hitler consistently portrays this ideological war in the international arena as an extension of the struggle that the National Socialist Movement had waged from its inception against its ideological and political enemies within Germany itself. Jewish Marxism, Jewish parliamentary democracy, Jewish liberalism, and even the so-called political churches and the Jewish foundations of Christianity. The fundamental idea of Judaism, namely the unity of the world and the equality of all human beings, a conception that spread within Judeo-Christian civilization and was manifested in a secular form as the universalist ideas of democracy, liberalism and socialism, was diametrically opposed to the National Socialist world view. Its belief in the inequality of races, the hierarchy and the eternal struggle of survival and annihilation. In keeping with the core of its ideology, the Nazi redemptive anti-Semitism and its teleological aim of the final solution of the Jewish question and destruction of the so-called Jewish spirit should be regarded as an attempt to change the course of human history. Only in this sense and through this perspective can one attempt to propose an explanation regarding both the historical and substantive import of Nazi anti-Semitism and the final solution. I wish to conclude this paper by two quotations of Hitler's declaration made on February 17, 1942, the time when the mass annihilation of European Jews, the so-called final solution, began to take its horrifying dimensions. I quote, the Jew who fraudulently introduced Christianity into the ancient world in order to ruin it reopened the same breach in the modern times, this time taking as his, its pretext the social question. Just as Saul changed into St. Paul, Mordechai became Karl Marx. And further on, peace can result only from nature's order. In German, Naturordnung. The condition of this order is that there is a hierarchy among nations. It is jewelry that always destroys this order. A people that is rid of its Jews 
this return spontaneously to nature's order.